in RC building. This is the Professor C.G. Konapure, uh, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. So this is learning outcome for the students. Student will be able to apply the earthquake resistant measures in RC buildings. Now following are the measures which are uh, uh, which shall be taken into RC buildings and which are discussed in this uh, uh, session. First is on hill slope, shear wall shall be provided in, for the building. Second thing while designing of the frame uh, members, especially columns and beam, the beam, design of members shall be followed in this way that is a strong column and weak beam. Third is buildings with soft story. So, the measure for soft story that is also explained in this third uh, point. And fourth is avoid or avoiding short column effect in the frame members. How it is to be avoided, what measure shall be taken that is discussed in this fourth. And last is provision for opening in shear wall. Okay. So, let us start one by one. Now, this is the sketch which is uh, uh, showing you the building G plus 4 building and it is on hill slope and several times uh, this practice is done as the uh, height of the columns are required the columns are provided and because of uh, the slope you can see here the height of the column is depth is very small and here it is little increasing finally the height of column at this level is uh, higher as compared to this so this uh, what happens as the height of the column is increasing this lateral stiffness of the column is going to reduce so this building lateral stiffness for three, these four columns is uh, less. So that's why your uh, building is having lower, uh, having lower stiffness on this side. And for this column, uh, the height is very small. So short, short column effect may be also possible. So what is to be done? What is the remedial measure for this type of configuration? That is provide shear walls for this side. Okay. So the lateral stiffness of the building will increase. Okay, now the second uh, most important measure that we should take in the design of members uh, is that uh, we should provide column stronger than the beam. So it doesn't mean that uh, strong column, weak beam. It doesn't mean in this way. Actually, whatever requirement of uh, there for the section of the beam, we should design that beam. But while designing the column, the column section must be stronger than the beam. This is the meaning of the strong column, weak beam concept. What is, what is uh, the requirement of this concept? Uh, always uh, in this frame members, column, uh, the shear, lateral shears are acting on the columns and uh, that column are failing in shear. Okay, so the ductility or ductile failure column is not uh, uh, possible in this uh, design approach. Beam failure is always is failing in a flexure or it uh, will go under the deformations. That's why it takes more energy, more earthquake vibrations are required for that and that's why that uh, failure is called as the local failure. So weak beam and strong column design is desirable. Means what? Strong column, if columns are failing, your building will fail globally. Means and all the floors are coming down. Now third approach or third uh, most important uh, uh, major in RC building that we should take uh, that is the building on soft first story. Now soft story what is meant by soft story or a soft first story. So this is ground story. So the first story of building is this one G plus 1, 2, 3, 4. This building is shown here A. Okay. What, what is shown here? 1, 2, 3, 4. These uh, four floors or four stories are with infill walls and brick masonry is shown here. But basic concept is that the infill walls are used. And at this ground story, means the first story where infill walls are not uh, present. So what happens here? The, so stiffness discontinuity is observed here. Or this story is the lateral stiffness is very low as compared to the story above. What is the difference in this? If you observe this that these diagonal lines are shown. Means what? This These infills are acting as the diagonal members. So these diagonal members will add a little stiffness or more stiffness in your uh, building stories. So that will help to reduce the drift. And in ground story, the infill walls are not there, whose lateral stiffness is very low. So sudden change in stiffness or stiffness discontinue arising in this uh, configuration. So your build soft story will fail fast. Okay. Now this B uh, configuration is shown. Again the same uh, is there, G plus 1, 2, 3, 4. 
but uh, at this intermediate or center level the shear wall is provided but at ground story column or shear wall is not present so it is absent here so what happens this story will be treated as soft soft story because shear wall or column is not present due to which the stiffness lateral stiffness of this story is low than the lateral stiffness of these one two three four stories so again there is a problem of uh, difference or discontinuity in the stiffness so this story is treated as the soft story so earthquake forces will hit this story and the for you are this ground story will fail fast you can see here this uh, philosophical concept of the soft story building with soft story or soft first story behave as inverted pendulum during earthquake so that inverted pendulum concept is very dangerous in earthquake so the, the entire thing is concentrated at the mass and that will vibrate uh, uh, that will shake severely which will uh, increase the seismic response also large deformations in the ground floor columns has to be accommodated the building collapses due to failure of first story and p delta unstability p delta p is applied force delta is occur deformation okay now how the soft first story will fail that is explained here the same sketch g plus 1 2 3 4 five story building now if the lateral stiffness of your first story is very low that will be treated as the soft story so due to that earthquake forces the plastic hinges are formed just bottom of the beam just bottom beam of column joint so columns are failing so all your story above will come down so your building will be subjected to global failure now the question for all of you what is the question the story acts soft story in a building due to there are four option a mass discontinuity b strain discontinuity c stiffness discontinuity and d is low strength what is the answer you pause the video think on this uh, story why it is act uh, it will act as a soft story and uh, give me the answer okay the answer is c stiffness discontinuity because of stiffness discontinuity the story will act as a soft story okay so what is the remedial measure for this building is there especially in apartment buildings or ownership buildings the ground floor is kept for parking vacant for parking for parking purpose the infill walls are not constructed at, at the ground level or the second one more approach is there the why the height of column or story is required as the story above height of the parking floor is always 2.5 meter 8 feet so the height of column is reducing lateral stiffness will reduce because of that the ground story will act as a soft story and uh, there will be the damage now what uh, middle measure is required for this at corners of the building at least you provide wall it may be a shear wall rc shear wall so that makes your more structure more stiff it may be wall, infill walls at least you go for uh, infill walls at this corner so it will add lateral stiffness into this uh, story so the failure is uh, failure chances may be less and you can keep these four uh, base vacant empty so that uh, your movement is also possible so the model ground floor plan for building with parking that is shown here this is the remedial measure second thing is that your ground story is to be designed for 2.5 times uh, story shear so you calculate the, the lateral uh, shear coming on this uh, story and uh, multiply it by 2.5 and design your uh, ground floor or this uh, ground floor okay ground story for 2.5 times the story shear okay next feature or next our uh, remedial major is the we should avoid the short column effect there are two examples very good examples are shown here so this is one uh, uh, story in which mezzanine floor is provided so that mezzanine floor ends the column here and this much column is a short column and the short column uh, it is subjected for uh, busting or the crushing of uh, the material so the mezzanine floor that will create the short column effect and the columns will fail in this uh, locations okay
and in second stage the opening is provided here the infill wall is there actually infill wall must be from one uh, corner to the another corner so that it will act as a diagonal member here that is not ensured so opening is provided that's why this much column will act as a short column and your column will fail here because infill wall is present up to this point to this point so after that uh, for this column there is no any restraint provided so that's why this column will fail so let us avoid these types of short column effect by, by not providing these types of opening or mezzanine floors okay now this is the provision for opening in the shear wall this is shear wall and openings are there for the windows and uh, these types of coupling beams are provided this is the reinforcement arrangement which must be provided uh, at the opening corners of the shear wall so it is explained well in next sketch okay you can see here reinforcement in the coupling gear so these are the uh, horizontal bars and these are inclined bars with few ties and uh, the vertical ties are also provided at uh, these couplings these must be provided at the openings okay these are the references for the presentations or for the session thank you